One of the most fundamental things in any programming language is reading from or writing to a file. Rust has a lot of ways, a lot of ways, but there's also a really nice and efficient way that might save you a lot of time. So beforehand, it's good to know that everything comes from the standard library provided by Rust. That means that there are no dependencies or frameworks. So let's just get right into the code. So there are really two efficient but yet simple ways to write something to a file. First off, we can make use of the fs module. Now like I said, this fs module comes from the standard library, so there is no need for any dependency or framework. Then we can make use of the file struct, which allows us to basically create files but also read files. Within this struct we will make use of the create method. Now this create method expects one argument, which simply is the file name that we want to create. Here we will just define the file name as output.txt. Then we also say that we unwrap. So this create method actually returns a result, which might return like an error that the file cannot be written due to insufficient permissions. Now because we unwrap here, we say Rust that we do not really care about the error. Now this create method returns a file, so we can save this in a variable. Now it's important to note that obviously if we want to write content to a file, this file has to be mutable. The reason for this is pretty obvious, because we want to write something and therefore modify this specific file. After that we can make use of the write all function here. And then in this function we define a byte string. Now this b shortcut is really similar to the as bytes function that we have for a specific string. So for instance, instead of using this b shortcut, we can just say as bytes. This is basically the same output. So we transform a string into some bytes. I will just make use of the shortcut because it's a shortcut obviously. And then we can basically write something we want to write to the file. So for instance, hello world then we have a new line with backslash n and then we say this is a test. Now what will happen here is that the string gets converted to bytes and we only write these bytes to the file. So we don't directly write a string because obviously computers cannot really read or write strings. They are in the end obviously some bytes. And with the b shortcut we transform this string to the bytes and then write them to the file. Now this write all can obviously also return a error and therefore we just say unwrap again to just ignore the error. Now it's important to note that we don't have really a function that is called write all and the solution to really fixing this issue is to just import the write trait. Now this trait allows us to really write some content to a file and that really enhances the file struct itself. So what we can do is say write all and then press enter and we see that the io write trait is imported here. Now if we save everything we get no error and obviously if we run now this specific code we also get no error. However we now see that we have an output.txt file. Now if we just get the output of this output.txt file we just get hello world a new line and then this is a test. Now we can also enhance this version here because there is a much easier way to just write something to a file. For that we just make use of the write function in the fs module. So here we just say fs and then we use the write function. We define the path which is basically again output.txt and then again we define the contents which is in this case just a string. Then we also need to unwrap the error, so again we don't care about the error. Now if we save this and then just remove our output.txt file and then run the program again, we actually see that we now have an output.txt file again with the expected output. Now that we actually have a file with some contents, we now want to read this file and obviously get the string back that we actually inserted into the file. How can we do that? For that, we will just make use of the fs module again, then we use file and then we just say open. Now this open function expects one argument again. This argument is just the file name or the path of the file, which is in this case output.txt. So with this functionality we do not create a file, but we open a file ready to get read. After that we also unwrap the error and then we save this open file in a file variable. 
Now we can basically create a mutatable string. Now it has to be mutatable because obviously we want to read the content of the file and then just modify the s variable in this case or the string basically with the contents of the file. And after that we just make use of the read to string functionality of our file struct. Now this expects in this case a mutatable string and then we just unwrap the arrow again. Now again, like I said before, we need a specific trait here. So in this case, we need the IO retrait. It's basically the same as the IO write rate, but instead of writing, we now read something from the file. Now obviously we also need to make the file mutatable and a quick explanation for this specific argument here is that basically we pass in a reference to our string so basically some sort of memory address of our string and we also mark this as mutatable. That basically means that this function read to string can mutate the passed in variable or in this case the passed in string. And after that, we can basically use our built-in string functions like split white space, and then we use for each. Now here we have like a word, and then just for demonstration purposes, we just print our word here. Now if we save everything and now try out the new functionality, we actually get hello world back. So the expected output. And that was basically it with opening, creating, writing and reading a file. I hope you found this video really helpful and maybe you will make use of the file operations in Rust. Thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, bye bye.